Alright, last time I played we were here. Just after being the boss. And now, oh look, we're here. Yay for time travel! We shall not meet for some time. Just a moment. When the Harriar have been trained, they are sent to Asgard. At that point, you will have finished the first cycle of your appointed task. I understand. The time you are allowed it is not limitless, Leneth. Just as time passes on Earth below, time in Asgard, Asgard also grinds steadily onward. At set intervals, I will undertake to inform you of events taking place in Asgard. Thank you. I understand. Game time is stored as chapters and periods. Periods are the time spent in towns or dungeons. Chapters... The chapter is over after the passage of a set number of periods, after which there will be a report from Freya. The game is composed of eight chapters. The final battle, Ragnarok, will commence when there are no more periods remaining until the end of the world. So, be forewarned. I have one more word for you. That warrior, I don't think he's suitable suited to become a hero. Hero. You mean Angrim? Yes. Of course, he has brawn enough. But does he have what it takes inside? The stuff that makes up an Harrier is much more than strength alone. Good luck. Taking leave with Iron Harrier is but a temporary measure. Oh, and Lena, if you don't understand the plan for training Lion Harrier for the battle, then ask him slash her your questions. They could have just called it a girl. <laughs> well then, we'll meet at Ragnarok. Remain here until then, let it ask the token of my esteem. The abilities of the Anheria of Asgard are not determined by strength alone, and Anheria's personality has a major impact on the outcome. Physical strength alone is not enough. You must send to Asgard only those warriors who have undergone personal growth. Well, of course, the point is how much. And then Harrier's activities in Asgard are also dependent on the warrior's armament. It's very different. Even if you make a mistake, don't send someone who is lightly armed. Don't think that just because Asgard is the world of the gods that there won't be any need for armaments. Do you understand me? Well then, good luck. They haven't told us what they want. Exit to the world map. Yes. All right. And this is the beginning of chapter one. We have zero of 24 periods that we can use for this chapter. There are 220 periods remaining until the end of the world. Yay! Now, as you can see, all the towns are available. But we don't know where we're going until... We do the spiritual concentration. So let's go ahead and do that. Being picked was this flower's destiny. Destiny? Do you know what it's called? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Please, can't you say that? I was a slave to circumstance. So you have nothing to say to me now? Alright, so we're going to Lassen. I don't know where that is. It was somewhere over here. Artolia? Nope. This one. Lassen, merchant town in the Jerabellum? Jerabellum? Whatever. Region! 
with the thriving slave trade. Ew, troops are mustering in the city due to the threat of invasion from Vilnor. Uh, that's another thing. Um, we're gonna do one at a time. That way we don't get lost, because sometimes if you do them all at once, you'll forget where I'm Harry or R. Um, but I believe in the normal version, you can only get a certain amount of Iron Harry art each time. So you get to be kind of picky, where in this you can get everyone. So we're just gonna go get this guy. Here's a little tidbit while I am reading something about the game and not playing right now. Um, why is this game so expensive? Supply and demand. Only 73,000 copies were sold in North America. Wow. In addition, this game is extremely sensitive to scratches. Wow, I did not know that either. The smallest scratch can make it unplayable. Hmm. So not all the copies work. Combine that with excellent word of mouth that there is a must play game and the game is suddenly impossible to find for less than $100. Wow. I don't... I don't remember how I got this game actually. What a beautiful flower. Do you know what it's called? Asaka. Do you want to... Want that badly not to go? <sighs> Lord Bellinus, give it back! I do not like slave au auctions. Don't make me watch. We have to do this, As Asaka. <laughs> My wife and Maria are gone now. You cannot take care of the mansion by yourself. The one you buy will be well treated, but when I think of the fate of the others... I do not wish to go. But I need you to go, Asaka. I do not speak their language. I need your help to pick a good worker. I cannot do it! to have that kind of power over someone's life. But it is well enough to pick a flower. Uh. How is it choosing a servant any different from picking a flower? Uh, it's totally different, you jerk. Being picked was this flower's destiny. Destiny? Destiny is the path chosen for us by the gods. Please, please forgive me. I just felt so sorry for her. I will pray. I will pay her upkeep with my own salary. Please allow her to stay. Please, Father, I promise you, Marie and I will take good care of her. Very well. She's your responsibility. Maria, educate her. Are you sure that was a good idea, Maria? I am sorry, young lord. It's okay. Do you know what her name is? Her name is Asaka. Asaka? That's a Yamato name. Yes. <gasps> Finally, we have to see your face. The scary man is gone, so you don't cry anymore. There aren't any today. Mm. Do 
Being picked was as far as destiny. I already saw that part. Destiny? Was it destiny that killed my wife and Maria? There you go, there are some of the weird sounds I was talking about. Was it destiny that sent my friends and my father to die in a distant war? Is it the reason I am here now? The reason I met Asaka? Lord Balanus? I am fine. Well, you should head home. Yes, Lord Balanus. 